And also, if the world's top athletes arrive here next July, the one thing that everyone wants to see is the 100 metres, typically the Olympics marquee event. Pedro Pinto has been learning more about it. As part of CNN's build-up to the Olympics, we're focusing on one of the most exciting disciplines, it'd be fair to say, in the Olympic Games. That's the 100 metres. I'm joined by former Olympic champion Linford Christie. Linford, what makes a top-class sprinter, physically and mentally? Well, I mean, first of all, uh, to be a sprinter, you've got to be born. You've got to be born a sprinter. You've got to be born a sprinter. I always say you, you can train, you can do, go out and do your long runs and everything and become a really good distance runner, but if you're not born to sprint, no matter how much work you do, you'll never make it. So it's a natural thing that you're born to do. When you were sprinting, what did guys used to do to each other to try to psych, psych each other out? Well, there's a saying, you know, that the race is won way before we get to the start line. Because what they do, what they, they, they usher everyone you're competing against into a courtroom. And you sit there and you face all your opponents and everyone has their little ways of trying to psych you out, put you off your game and everything else. And it's just up to you from there how you focus and how you concentrate and not let it get to you. What kind of things did guys do? Oh, they'd walk past and tell you about your mom, you know, they will just eyeball you, or they'll, you know, one's got a little routine, they'll jump up and down and be in your face. And, you know, it, it can't put you off. Today, it's impossible to, to talk about sprinting without mentioning Usain Bolt. How would you compare him to some of the greatest guys you've seen and, and raced against, like a Carl Lewis or even yourself? Well, I'd say definitely, you know, Usain Bolt, he's one of the greats. He's one, you know, the fastest man in the world. But, I wouldn't exactly say at this moment in time he's the greatest because he has to go out there now and win more, more titles. That is when you know, you'll judge him and say, okay, he's the greatest. He's one of them, but not quite the number one. He had a lot of career highs, a career low for him, surely. It was just a month ago in the, in the finals of the 100 meters in the World Championships in, in, in Korea. How controversial was that because it involved the highest profile racer on the planet? Well, that's like, exactly what you say, how controversial is that? And if it was anyone else, we wouldn't be talking about it right now. It's because it's the same boat that we talk about it. And th that's the rules. The rules are, if you fall start, you get disqualified. I think they need to change the rules a little bit. You do? Yeah, I think it did. And I think also, you know... What, like, what would you change it to? You think that one and out is just too much? Yeah, I think it's too much. I think, you know, we didn't like when they say, you, you know, you had, you, you had one, then you got a second chance. We didn't like that. But I mean, I think it's a lot fairer than the one that they got at the moment. The fans, they want to see the fastest people run against each other. And I think if you disqualify, you know, someone just for one full start, then, you know, lots in the future, a lot more champions are going to go the same way. Great insight from you, Linford. And uh, you, you, you're done with this particular conversation, but I can tell you that Linford is helping Team CNN as part of our Olympic build-up, our Olympic show called Aiming for Gold. So you'll see him, me, and a couple of other, other colleagues <laughs> on the track. He's going to be training us. You don't want to miss that.